Hey guys, Rose Pants here. I hate, you know, it's like I love waking up to like news on Twitter, but I hate when it's frustrating as fuck first thing in the morning. So Tesla Motors, um, who I'm sure you're all familiar with, you know, the best electric car on the market, has decided that in their newer models uh, is switching from leather to synthetic leather. And people are upset about this, legitimately. And I just got into a Twitter argument with one of the people that I really, really enjoy following. And they said that they just straight up don't care and that this would prevent them from ever buying a Tesla. Go fuck yourself. <sighs> Instantly, I thought on the, uh, the movie Earthling, or Earthlings, I can't remember if it's plural or not. Um, it's a documentary that's fairly old. I think it came out in like 2010, I wanna say. And um, it is like broken up into little parts and one of those sections is on leather and how it's so devastatingly horrible for our environment for the people that make it and just like a whole slew of reasons. Um, I'm gonna put a link in the description if you want to watch Earthlings. I'll put a section that's like the whole movie and a section that is just the leather one. Um, I don't wear leather and I haven't for years Probably this movie was a big influence on that. I watched it in one of my classes. Um, I can't remember which one specifically. I was an environmental studies major. And yeah, it was just really frustrating for him to be like, well, I'm not vegan and this is blah, 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 blah. You don't have to be vegan to appreciate the fact that they're making this change. You just have to be an earthling and realize that we need to stop and reflect on our actions and how they affect the things around us and make changes as necessary. So that's exactly what Tesla fucking did. It's not like they were all sitting around in a board meeting and was like, huh, this is a neat idea. Like maybe let's do this. Like, no, it's fucking hypocritical for the most environmentally friendly car on the planet to have leather seats. So they recognized that and made a change. I am so stoked for Tesla. Like, that, that's amazing that they were able to recognize that. I can't believe, like it just boggles my mind and I, I don't even want it to be like a, oh, let's just agree to disagree thing because you're wrong. <laughs> and it just flabbergasts me that someone would say that it would prevent them from buying a Tesla. As if this person in specific could even afford a fucking Tesla in the first place. <laughs> That's beside the point and rude. I shouldn't have said that. Um, yeah, it's just frustrating to make changes to affect the planet around me in a positive way so when I see people like fully like putting putting their feet into the ground and like no don't drag me into the future it's just a little disheartening in other news I had the cutest cat with the cutest belly. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> you're so cute. <laughs> a meow turned into a yawn. Is that what that was? That was a pretty smooth move. Pretty smooth move. <laughs> So today marks week two here in St. Louis, which is always exciting. I don't know why. I like every Tuesday I'm like, ah, it's like official. <laughs> kind of 
lame, but whatever. It's just been like the best thing ever to be able to spend so much time with my brother because he's been living in the Midwest uh, for at least three years, maybe four. And uh, so during that time, I've only been able to see him like once, maybe twice if I was lucky um, a year, which sucks because I love my brother and we get along really well and like our relationship has only grown over time so it's kind of been the best so that's why like I don't even care that I've mostly been a homebody during this trip so far and we haven't like done anything super like wild and exciting because fuck just being able to spend time with him is wild and exciting in its own way and uh yeah i oh another thing is that i'm also kind of low-key saving all my money for new york because i know how fucking expensive that city is 